Hello friends, users of the internet, my name is Stegatron, and I humbly welcome you back to a very long-awaited, very random, and out-of-the-blue episode of Mario Kart 8. Now, um, I know it's been a while since the last episode of this series, but if you can recall, uh, we're just going to pick up right where we left off. But first, let's observe some of the changes, because the game has got a lot of updates since we last played the game. Um, as you can see here, if you press the minus button on your gamepad, um, you sort of have a record stat counter of everything that you've done in the game. Uh, also as well, you can see that little amiibo uh, icon in the corner. If you press the plus sign, uh, if you have any amiibos that are open and out of the package, you could scan them on the Wii U gamepad to unlock racing costumes uh, based on various Nintendo and third party franchises uh, that your me can uh, race in such as Mario, Mega Man, Sonic, they all look pretty neat. Um, I don't really collect Amiibos myself. I do have a few of them, but they're still in the package. Uh, I just haven't really seen a really good use of Amiibos, you know, just to unlock certain things as opposed to having a full-fledged game based around the Amiibos, similar to Skylanders or Disney Infinity. Uh, but I digress to each their own. You know, everybody loves collecting Amiibos and, you know, those seem to be selling like hotcakes these days. Still, um, even though the stocks are replenishing. I'm rambling, so let's get this started. Uh, so, if you can recall where we left off, um, I'm basically going through all the cups, um, one at a time, trying to get three star ranking on all of them. But you'll notice a few differences here. Uh, the mirror mode. Usually, to unlock this, you have to beat 150cc. But um, with the updates and everything, it's automatically unlocked. And they've also included um, a crazy fast, insane 200cc, which I actually tried, and it's pretty freaking fast. Uh, but we're going to go back to 50cc, the boring, low-speed beginner level, and just basically work our way up the ranks and see where that takes us. Alright, and also as well, uh, with Mario Kart 8, since it, since uh, we last played, uh, there's been a few DLC packs that have been released. Um, a few of the updates are, is Yoshi has a bunch of different colors, which is kind of cool. Uh, same, with, uh, same with Shy Guy as well. He has basically almost the same color swaps as Yoshi, but that's cool. We've unlocked Pink Gold Peach. And of course, this lovely line of racers right here is the DLC characters. We have Tanuki Mario, Cat Peach, Link from Legend of Zelda, Villager from Animal Crossing, uh, Isabelle from Animal Crossing, and Dry Bowser, who looks pretty freaking badass. And then of course, as we progress through the game, we'll unlock more characters. With the DLC, uh, you know, Nintendo definitely did it right, because uh, there's different cart customizations and such, except with the weird... Mercedes-Benz crossover. I'm not too sure what they were thinking there. Also as well, uh, there's new tracks and stuff too, which I'll definitely get to in the near future. But we're going to go play as Waluigi because I feel he's a very underappreciated character. <laughs> and it looks like I randomly unlocked a cart customization from collecting random coins. Uh, so this looks like a throwback to like the Super Mario Kart era of carts, which looks kind of cool. So that's a pipe frame. That looks pretty cool, uh, but we'll stick with the standard cart. But as you can see, there's different customizations here. Uh, there's bikes from uh, previous Mario Karts back. There's ATVs, uh, racing bikes. There's a whole slew of cart customization options in this game to appease different playing styles, and different wheel types, and different glider types. Of course, the hand gliders came back from Mario Kart 7, and uh, also the underwater propeller sections as well, as I iterated in my, in my last video. But uh, let's get this started. Alright, so yeah, we're going to just keep going uh, with the flower cup, and then we're going to basically work this way, so it's going to be flower cup, and then next I'll do star special and then work into the retro tracks and then I'll do the DLC tracks afterwards so let's start with the flower cup all right 
and our first track, Mario Circuit. I definitely still am a little rusty for Mario Kart. It's been a long while since I've played Mario Kart, so don't expect any cool, uh, you know, crazy maneuvers like the boost starts, or if I miss any shortcuts, I do apologize. Uh, we're just gonna try to get through this as best we can. Let's try for a boost start. It was a no-go. So this game still looks great. It, uh, it looks amazing. You know, it's definitely one of the top tier uh, Wii U games in terms of graphics, and it's still a great game, and it plays really good. You know, even though I'm playing on the slowest speed, um, it still feels smooth and fast, and I like it. So yeah, as I was saying earlier, Waluigi is a pretty underappreciated character. As far as I know, if I recall from his history, he was just kind of created as a filler character, you know, with every intention to be Wario's brother. But uh, he just ended up being, you know, a star in like Mario Tennis or Mario Party and games like that. He's never actually gotten his own full-fledged game, but there's never really been like an evil Mario Brothers game where you play as Wario or Waluigi. I'm not really sure why Nintendo hasn't really capitalized on that, but I guess the general consensus is, is that Waluigi isn't really a likable character to begin with because he kind of looks like a bit of a creeper, but I mean, Waluigi does mean even Luigi, and he does look pretty, pretty evil. Oh, and there's a blue shell. God damn it. And uh, yeah, I mean, purple attire doesn't really look that intimidating. So if you press the left trigger, as you can see here, you can have the banana sit behind you and you can sort of use that as defense against oncoming red shells and green shells. Uh, but of course that won't protect you from the ever so dreaded blue shell as you saw hit me earlier. So the one thing you want to do is when you hit a jump, if you press the right trigger, um, you'll actually do a trip off the jump if you hit it at the right time, and that'll give you sort of extra boost power uh, to give you a little bit extra speed. And of course, with every Mario power up, you can also shoot it behind you as well if you press down on the joystick and then press the button you used to shoot. Man, this game looks wicked. So you might be asking yourself, what is the main reason as to why I haven't uploaded a Mario Kart 8 video in such a long time? Well, there's a few reasons. Um, the main reason is, is when I first uploaded the Mushroom Cup, you know, however, however long it's been, um, Nintendo actually hit me with a copyright claim, uh, which I wasn't really too impressed with, you know, I was just trying to show off the game and show how awesome it is, but, uh, so I kind of put this on the back burner, and life happens, and I, I just never got around to it, but uh, I, I kind of just had this urge to play Mario Kart again, so I figured I would just try uh, recording this again for you guys and, you know, actually try finishing it as well. So we'll see how it goes. If you guys uh, are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and leave a positive or negative comment down below. It looks like we're finishing the first race here. We're uh, coming up to the finish line and all is good to go. Next race on the list, Toad Harbor. Doesn't this look like a festive tropical paradise? Which seems fitting because we just got into a massive heat wave here and the apartment's been rather warm and been trying to, you know, escape to the beach every now and again to cool off, so it seems fitting. Oh that was a fail. Eventually I will get the speed boost away. Again, I'm definitely feeling a little rusty. So another thing they brought back from Classic Mario Kart is the collecting of the coins. Now with the coins, you can collect up to 10 um, per se, and every time you collect coins, it basically will boost your speed. Uh, but if you keep collecting coins, um, what will happen is that's how you basically get your unlockers. Uh, which unlock at random. 
I don't know if it's preset or if it's random, but uh, you know, every time you finish a cup or unlock a certain amount of coins, um, you'll unlock various characters, various carts, and card cards. So a new mechanic that they brought into Mario Kart 8, and I may have mentioned this in my last video, but again, it's been so long, is um, the anti-grab, or the zero-g as I like to call it, where as you saw, you can drive up walls and various different types of surfaces, which does look pretty cool, um, and it kind of feels inspired by F-Zero, so it kind of makes me wonder why Nintendo hasn't exactly made a new F-Zero. I know in some interviews, Miyamoto has said he hasn't really thought of a fleshed out story for the F-Zero series, but man, it's been way too long since we've had an F-Zero. Um, on, on, you know, if they missed the Wii, and, uh, you know, they, they're, they're gonna miss the Wii U, because now I guess they're focusing on the NX, but the last F-Zero game that I played was GX on the GameCube, so, um, you know, I think it's about time that, uh, Nintendo resurges, uh, F-Zero, whether it be on the Wii U, and if Nintendo continues to support the Wii U, which I hope they do, because I still feel like the Wii U is definitely an underappreciated console that has been more than capable of producing quality games, and as you can see with this game here, and many others, I mean, the games look great, and like, the Wii U does support 1080p, and, and despite the gamepad being rather big, it's a rather ingenious idea. I mean, you know, Sony basically copied them with their use of, like, the Vita as a second screen and such, so Nintendo is definitely onto something somewhere. So I, ho I do hope that, uh, you know, even though Nintendo is going to focus on the NX, that they kind of still have some games left for the Wii U, and maybe they'll do a, a double release of an F-Zero, like they're going to kind of do with, I guess, Legend of Zelda Wii... Well, I guess it's not Legend of Zelda Wii U anymore. Legend of Zelda 2016, they're going to do a, a double release with the NX and the Wii U, so... That's cool. Definitely stuff to look forward to at E3 since E3 is right around the corner. Alright, looks like we're going to be finishing up the second race already. Twisted Mansion. This looks to be based off of Luigi's Mansion. Another interesting track design. This looks really cool. It seems like there's a lot of twists and turns. <laughs> Alright, let's try for another boost start. I probably won't get it though. That was like a, a mini boost. So that works, I guess. So even though I've started to play Mario Kart 8 again, um, those that were watching my Skylander stuff, don't be alarmed, I'm not ditching that project. I'm going to try to play these games simultaneously, on top of my already insane schedule anyways, because as you guys know I'm in college, and uh, because I started in the winter semester, um, I have school through the summer. I don't have a reading week, so it's kind of like a condensed semester. I only have 14 weeks as opposed to 15 weeks, which I know doesn't sound like much, but kind of makes the world a difference. I've been, you know, it's been all Kisten's go since the beginning, and it just feel, like homework kind of feels like an assembly line as soon as I feel like I'm caught up. And, you know, it's it's right back to the you know, it gets filled up right again. So I've been really busy with school and, and homework and, and trying to get stuff done. But the nice thing about the summer semester is I have three day weekends, so I have Saturday, Sunday, Monday off, which is kind of cool, so it does give me a bit of extra time to relax, which is kind of nice, so I'm hoping, like I don't have a set schedule for my uploads, but expect both Skylanders and, of course, new Mario Kart 8 footage in the future. And uh, if you do like this series, definitely let me know, leave a positive or negative comment, also hit that like button as well. Uh, to show your support for both series.
And uh, if there's any games you want me to play in the future, just uh, leave a comment down below because I probably have it. So, and if I don't have it, I'll find a way to track it down. So. track has a lot of elements to it. There's like a good balance of cart gameplay and then the, the glider and a little bit of water elements to it. It's a very nice, gloomy track. I like it a lot. Jeez, everybody likes to hit me with lightning these days. Oh, there's a blue shell. How awesome is that? Still in first, right on. So as I said previously, I'm going to try to get triple star ranking on all the tracks. And what's nice about Mario Kart 8 is you don't have to do anything crazy to to get triple stars. You just gotta place first in all the races. So it's definitely a lot much more of an obtainable task. Because I remember when I used to play Mario Kart 7, I would. You know, even though I would come in first all the time, I would always get two stars or even one star, and I'd be like, what the heck? Like, I'm doing everything right, but I guess there is a... In the previous games, there are basically like a bunch of hidden stats that weren't tracked. That sort of added to your progress to get the triple stars. Alright, so we're already done three races and going to the last one. It's been fun. Let's do it. Go for an all first run on 50cc of the Flower Cup. It's definitely not an impossible task. Shy Guy Falls. Oh sweet, looks like I'm gonna be riding down waterfalls through some caves. Another tropical-esque environment. Looks good. Alright, so I'm starting to get my group back from Mario Kart. This is alright. This boom block is one of the newer power-ups in Mario Kart 8, and this is basically what gives you a fighting chance against a blue shell, because if there's a blue shell uh, coming towards you, if you launch this, it'll, it'll sort of blast it out of the sky and it'll hit you, which is kind of awesome. So at least now, blue shells aren't really that annoying as they used to be. There's a lot of detail, and there's a, like, a lot of animations going on, and they just look, it just looks really good. So I feel like for the NX, because I mean clearly they're going to do another Mario Kart, I feel like they should sort of like kind of do what they did with Smash Brothers, but with Mario Kart, like a Super Smash Kart, or I guess whatever you want to call it, Super Nintendo All-Stars Kart, or so whatever, and it would be cool to like see different characters like Samus, and uh, you know, like Pikachu, and stuff like that, I mean they've kind of already done that with the DLC, having like, uh, you know, Link from Legend of Zelda, and the characters from Animal Crossing, so... Uh, I think Nintendo should definitely take advantage of that and, you know, they would have two really cool Nintendo All-Star properties as opposed to just Smash Brothers. Like, but I mean, Smash Brothers is great and it's a really great fighting game. I really can't get into, get into it as much as I, I should. I mean, cause I remember buying the Smash Brothers for Wii U, at, at, you know, when it came out and I've only played it like two or three times and I, I just can't 
get into Smash all that much. I don't know what it is. And it's definitely not a bad game. It's a lot better to Nintendo, but it's not for me, I guess. Maybe if I give it another go. But yeah, um, I feel like Nintendo would have to evolve the Mario Kart format. Then you would have a real diverse roster, and it wouldn't just be, you know, all the Koopa kids or random characters like uh, the Queen Bee from Mario Galaxy or whatever. Um, you know, I feel like the last couple of Mario Kart games have had a fairly weak roster in terms of character variety, so I definitely think like Super Smash Kart would be pretty cool. And there it is! We finished the last race. Got first place in all the races, a full total 60 points. Should get my triple star, and uh, we'll see if we've unlocked any new parts or characters. Let us review the results. Basically a highlight reel showing all my best and worst moments throughout the races. And there it is. Flower Cup Gold. Triple Star. We've unlocked the Star Cup. Unlocked a new character, and we got a new stamp for Miiverse because we beat it with Waluigi. So we have Waluigi on a nice little dirt bike. Would you like to post this to Miiverse? Not really. All right, so there it is, part two of Mario Kart 8. Uh, but before we go, I just want to see what new character we got. So let's do it. Larry. And we got Larry Koopa. Excellent. Now of course, uh, all the Koopa kids are in this game. Which are kind of cool because they each look distinctly different. But I mean, they're still just a bunch of Koopas. As I said, uh, I find the character roster to be a little weak in these most recent Mario Kart games. But that's just my opinion. So there it is. Uh, part 2 is finally done. Thank you so much for watching guys. Um, as I said, please leave a positive or negative comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Hopefully it won't be so long.